Are we on? We're on, we're on. <laughs> this is the second time. We've been here like 23 hours. Twice we've had someone knocking on the door giving us parcels and we haven't heard a you thing. You cannot hear it Can't hear them. No. Yesterday they left it with a house up there. Today they left it with a house down there. It's like five doors down. Yeah. Luckily it's like a terrace street. So there's a lot of neighbours. So I can imagine the postman just keeps knocking on one until yeah, someone Yeah, until it. someone takes <clears throat> it, yeah. So I've just been down there and I says, uh, he wasn't due for another 45 minutes, wasn't the postman. Uh, just knocked on the door, says, uh, have you got a parcel for us? He says, yeah, how's your arm? I says, yeah, it's all right. And then I thought, do you know us? And he says, yeah, I watch your videos. <laughs> how's, how's Mazzy's driving? Oh, bless. So... Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it is the si exactly the same microphone as we had in the past. We've had th about four of these, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, for it's numerous Rode, reasons. Rode Studio Video Mic Pro, and it has always been the best. There's a good best, picture of it on the back. Best mic we've ever used. This is actually reconditioned, isn't it, this one? Used products. But it's reconditioned to a high spec. It's not. To be um, honest, I don't think they're even reconditioned. I think it's they're just probably new. Yeah, brand new. Yeah. Someone's opened the box, decided it for them. Could be a return. Return, and if yeah. Like, but you can tell that is the original box, and that is brand spanking new. I can look. I can see yeah. on it. So, so we we have had about four of these, and although it makes our camera setup look huge and ridiculous. We, we will always stick by these. Well, no, it's not no. ideal. I've always wanted to change this. I know it's this, not ideal, yeah. But it's the best we've ever found so far. So far, yeah. Now, these are about 200 quid. Um, but I always buy from this company called Wex. Wex Photography, I think they're called. If you want anything, go on their website because they do a lot of used or second-hand products. Reconditioned, and you can get different grades. So yeah. these, if you wanted one of these brand new, it'd be 200 quid. Yeah. I just got this for 85 pounds. In perspective Bargain. of that, I actually bought one of those about two years ago, reconditioned as well, about 160 pounds. And oh, you've got you it go. half the price. So, go. yeah, go to Wex. So. And um, they do finance. They do finance. When, yeah. when we've bought like his Canon cameras and stuff, I've yeah, got them on finance the, back on Back in there. the days when we Brilliant. couldn't afford to buy them outright, yeah. Well, it's still, <laughs> oh, that's brand new. It is brand spanking yeah. new. 85 quid. It's, it's just a return. Look at that. No one has ever, ever used that. Look how fluffy this cat is. New cat. It's just brand new, in it? <laughs> so, we have got that for 85 quid. Yep. Yeah. And there was another microphone I've been wanting to try. The, yeah. the only problem with this, even though it's a stereo mic, it doesn't pick up the voice behind the camera as well as in front. As well. It, it's still the best one we've found. It is, but you still yeah. have to edit the voice behind to make it match the yeah. voice in front. So I have ordered another microphone, which is like a tiny little thing. It's like you, a P. Do you remember what it was called? I can't remember, but I'll tell them when it arrives. Okay. But about 50 quid, which yeah. that is half price. I'm dubious about this because it seems quite cheap for something that's meant to be amazing. So It might not work. We don't know until yeah. it arrives. But it's something I've really wanted to try. And although it's cheap, it's a lot of money to waste if it doesn't work. So. But it's always a backup <laughs> microphone, then. Absolutely, If this breaks, yeah. we've got a backup microphone. So we were originally, you were originally looking for the newer model of this, wasn't you? There isn't a newer model. I thought you said it was like all technical no. and stuff. Oh no, that's the, like the Rolls Royce of this. Yeah. Which is £480. Yeah, but you were going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. £480, but I did see a used one for £300 and I was going to get it, but um, when I went to order it, it then added VAT, so it went up to three hundred and eighty pounds, and then it wouldn't let me all. It, it was just getting too complicated, and I had a second thought. I thought, you know, it's just not meant to happen. Yeah, it's not meant to be. So I thought I can yeah. get this for eighty-five pounds. I'll get that for three hundred and eighty. I'd rather get this and the tiny one, which I really want to try out. Yeah. So buzzing. 
All we need now is the housing case. Yeah, unfortunately, we cannot still put the mic onto the camera without the case. No. So. So this is useless at the moment. But yeah. As soon as the other part. <laughs> at least you come, got it. And it is brand spanking new. Really. Do happy. you recommend them? All vloggers out there, this is the best we have ever had. We've had about four of them now, haven't we? Three, four. About four of these. Yeah. I've tried. I must have tried 12 of what are supposed to be the best on the market. Well, when, yeah, I was going to say, when we went to Neil and Emma's, Neil had gone through the process yeah, of buying tried one. three there. Yeah, and you, no, you must have tried about seven at Neil's. Oh, I tried three or four. Did you? Um, but they are, none of them pick up the back as well yeah. as this. You need a stereo mic. And what most vloggers tend to do is go for the road um i don't know what to call it but it's just a a directional one so it only picks up the front well it does not pick up the back well you want a stereo this has got two microphones one goes that way one goes that way um but the one we're getting is 360. oh the other one the tiny quid, one yeah so it's worth a try yeah buzzing brilliant we're back on the road Road, I get it. <laughs> road, road. <laughs> and we're not even on road. We're on holiday. You're always on holiday. I'm poor. Oh. What I have noticed, Stuart has uh, quite a lot of tools here. Really good tools. So I'm going to be looking around the house to see if there's any jobs I can do for them whilst they're away. Because I am a very handy person no. and I've got some very handy t No. What? No. What do you mean no? Do not touch those. They're men's tools. Men's tools. Stuart, just trust me, eh? All them jobs won't need doing, I'll sort them out for you. Just getting me washing done. I've got a load on. Got all this dry, I've got all that on the line. I'm so happy to get all this done. We had so much washing, didn't we? The Rolling Rooks will be watching this right now and thinking, well, that's another £40 to his energy bill. <laughs> oh, bless them. They won't be. I would be. I've just noticed they've got one of these maps. I keep seeing these and I've never had one. Well, yeah, I saw this earlier and I thought they were going to pin literally like all the places they've been or where they're going. Well, no, that's what it is. That's what it is. What? The entire world is gold and you like scratch it off like a playing card to make, put it into <gasps> mazzy oh, terms. Oh, so they've brilliant. scratched off them countries and they've, they must have been oh, to Australia. So when they come home, they've got to scratch off Germany. Yeah, they'll have some to and scratch they're going off. down to... Co and they, where, where's Croatia, Croatia on here then? Um, uh, where is it? Where's Poland? It is... Yeah, they're off to Croatia. So <laughs> they've been here then? Where, uh, what's that one? What's Australia! That? They've been to Australia! Oh my gosh! Oh, um, that's Luton. It's not Luton. Is that Australia? I always thought Australia was over here on the map. Oh yeah, sorry, just off the uh, just 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 off Chile. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going on holiday to Tunisia? Where where is that on here? Well, that's a bit weird because Why? there isn't any sea in between Africa and Europe. This is sea. Oh, that's meant to be sea. Well, so, maybe that scratch is blue. No, don't scratch oh, them. No, no. I'm, oh, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That I'm wasn't sorry. me. That wasn't me. Ah. You have literally ruined. <laughs> you have ruined their map, Mazza. Where's, uh, uh, where are we going? Tunisia is here somewhere. I don't know. No, where are we going? Is that it? The red? Is it? I don't where? know. Oh, yeah. She told me she'd been to Tunisia. Well, there you go. That's she where we're going. She told me she'd been to Tunisia. The red bit. You have just, I can't believe you've destroyed the map. I know, I'm Look sorry. Look at state I'm of that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can I fix that? No. Well, unless you've got some gold nail polish. Oh, it's a bit like a scratch card. Yes. Been trying uh, to say that for the last 20 minutes. That's really good. I like that. 
Chips in the aquifier, aquifier. <laughs> Aqua fryer. It's not an aqua fryer, it's an air fryer. An air fryer. So we're not actually getting my Chinese tonight. I'm I'm in too much pain. Is it my fault? No. No, it's not my fault. Okay. No. But because now tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to eat either, you are gonna be treating me once I am able to eat. Oh, I'll treat ya. I'll treat ya. Right, so what's for tonight, right? We're getting a load of chips. These, these are our favourite chips. No, they're your favourite chips. Gastro. Triple, they're not my favourites. Well, they're mine. I thought they were both first. No, they are favourites, so that's what we get. Right, so I did get this out yesterday to do for Dan, but there weren't no microwave. So I am just going to place that in the microwave because I've opened it yesterday. It looks lovely, actually. Let me just try and uh, say the word again. Oh. Slow-cooked beef pappardelle. Pappardelle. I've never heard of pappardelle with... Chianti wine and Paramigiano Reggiano. Yeah, but that's ridiculous. Right. There's about eight words I've never heard of there. Well, whatever, yeah. So we, oh, I'm just going to chance it in the oven. It's going to be fine. It's probably like fine. gravy and pasta, but in Welsh. I bet it's Welsh. I've never heard of them oh, words yeah, before. Oh, yeah, because we're in Wales. Yeah, it's probably oh, Welsh. All the road signs and everything is in Welsh. It's really weird. Right, so how did I turn this on yesterday? It was that, wasn't it? I'm not used to this digital kind of, was it that? I don't know. Yeah, it was that, and then you dealt with it. How did do I? I yeah, how do I change this temperature? Um, I think, I don't no, know. that's not it. That's that not says it. degree C. C. Yeah, I think you've ruined it. I think you need to start yeah. again. Right, start again. Uh, oh no, what have I done? Right. right, here we go, right. Press that one. This one? Yeah. Bang! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? I just... I could, so I did. Right, come back to me. What am I doing? Oh, just put the oven on. Jesus. 3,000 years ago, you know, women never had any trouble with cooking. But isn't it on? 3,000 years later, no. you're still struggling. It's gone off. But what isn't it on? Because you're not putting it on. You press on. Yeah. You put that to the temperature you want, yeah? yeah? What do you want it on? 180. Well, 200 will do, yeah? Because no, I no, I no, 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 no. It's too high. That's it. Oh, here we go. There, 180. Yeah. And I don't now, know what 180 is. Now, now what? Now just wait. And For what? That looks like a go button. Does it? Yeah. That'll work now. It's on. It's on. It's on. So you're going to have this pasta dish, mm -hmm. dish, sorry I'm still speaking weird with my um, teeth, with some chips. Yeah. And, do you want garlic bread? Mm. In the new George Foreman? Can do, but I'll probably waste it. Oh, well, I'm not going to cook it if you're going to waste it. Right, so what am I going to have? Half I of garlic something. bread. Can I have half of garlic bread? I'm not doing one slice. Half. What's of garlic. Half? Well, half of a garlic bread. Not one slice, half of a garlic bread. Uh, where is it? In garlic bread section. Where is and that? then tonight, I'm going to have a Chinese. We, we've decided you can't have one, but uh, I can. I don't know where the garlic is. Beef and mushroom. Just where a plain beef and mushroom. Can't go wrong with that. Delivery people around here are rubbish. Rubbish. Someone's just come to deliver something, right? There's no products in it. He's just left the packaging and there's no pro <laughs> Probably Amazon. It's, it's the kind of thing Amazon would do. There's loads of packaging, nothing inside. Why? I don't know. It was probably a CD player and a really expensive camera. But now it just looks like two empty bags. I think that's the recycling, darling. And you're rubbish back in the kitchen so Dan's meal is in there it's cooking it's in the oven it doesn't say I can do it via the oven but there's no rules to cooking uh, he's asked for four of these so that that actually fits in my George Foreman but that's not on yet over here as you know I need soft stuff so I put on some fish cakes I put two on for Dan and two on for me and some chips. And also Dan's having some chips as well. 
Oh, he's put me in the right predicament. He's going to run up to the chippy for me. Well, you want some chips? Yeah, I know, but I've got some cooking. Yeah, but these are going to be proper fish and chip shop chips. Yeah, I'm really tempted. Yeah. I'll they just won't do go it. to waste. They won't go to waste because if I cook them, they can be eaten tomorrow. Just Let me just them. run up to a fish and chip shop and get well, some fish and chips. Yeah, but what about fish cake? I don't really want to ask for something which they won't have ready. So what about a small fish or something? If fish you want chips. fish, yeah. Just small fish and chips. Yeah, pot curry sauce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Small really? fish and chips and curry sauce. You're gonna go up the chippy. Yeah, because I love you. Give me a kiss. <gasps> Ow. Oh, my... oh, oh. I'll oh, be back very really? soon. Yeah. Thanks, babe. I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Oh. So bless Dan, he's gone to the chippy for me. Uh, I did say no. I actually did say no. I'm fine. I've got food on the go. But he was quite persistent about it. But this food will not go to waste. Definitely not. I need a bag. I thought you'd gone. Yeah, I know, but I need a bag. Uh, empty that one. Got a right load of munchies and stuff from the um, shop earlier. You were quite persistent, weren't you? What? They're getting me fish and chips. I. <laughs> you can tell them whatever you want. Making me go uh, to fish and chips. No. Uh, <laughs> with a broken arm. Oh, whatever. Okay, so the main reason I'm going up. Obviously, she wants fish and chips. But the main reason I'm going is to go and get some of these bath bombs. Because I really want Mazzy, and me, to be honest, <laughs> uh, to relax in a bath. Got to remember, living in a motorhome, we probably get one bath a year, if we're very, very lucky. So I want to get some bath bombs so she can have a proper bath with a jacuzzi. Um, so that's my aim. Fish and chips, curry sauce, and bath bombs because I am nice when I want to be okay fish and chips ordered fish chips and curry sauce uh, they're quite a big queue but no one were having fish there were no fish in the counter I, th I think it is a bit weird um, but I've ordered it she said it'll be 10 minutes for fish no problem love no problem whatsoever so whilst that's happening I'm trying to find out where these bath bombs were I said I'll be back in five minutes. Perfect. You know, I can go do what I need to do. Go back. I'll text Mazzy saying it's going to be 10 minutes for fish. She won't even know I've got bath bombs. And then when I go in with the fish and chips and curry sauce and bath bombs, she's going to be so excited to get in the bath bomb. She's not going to give a toss about the bath bombs, is she? She just, want to, she just wants her chips and curry sauce. Maybe I'll save bath bombs for later. I can't see her giving a toss about the bath bombs. Okay, one job done. Got bath bombs. I don't think this is the shop where I saw the bath bombs, I'll be honest. I walked past it and I went back and I said, excuse me, do you know which shop sells bath bombs? And they says, well, we have bath bombs, but we haven't got a sign outside. The one we saw had a sign outside. Anyway, I've got three bath bombs for £1.29. Vanilla flavour, she'll be happy with that. Just a little surprise, right? Fish and chips. They also sold like joke masks and stuff. Really wanted to get one and deliver it with a joke mask on, you know, like Freddy Krueger and stuff. Might do that another day. So there we go. Fish, chips, and didn't just get a curry sauce. I did actually text her. I said, "Do you want uh, curry sauce or Irish curry sauce?" It does say the Irish curry sauce. Okay, I'm lost now. The Irish curry sauce is red curry. But Mazzy chose the Irish because she's Irish. Um, very, very cheap. Eight pounds, including the curry sauce. I think it was six pound thirty for fish and chips. I thought the curry sauce was quite expensive at one pound seventy or whatever it was. But the fish and chips were ridiculously cheap. I think I've come down a one way road and I'm stuck we'll see no it's okay I've come the right way little snicket here 
it's got a massive feel as this place of like an old mining town i don't know anything about the history of the place but all the houses look like old mining houses um yeah i don't know i need to look it up <coughs> and i will be looking up the history we're just settling in still but we're gonna get there but obviously i need to know all the history because that's what i do right we're parked down here you should see his motorhome i'm not going to show where we are but uh as motorhome is leaning so much i feel like it's going to fall onto the house right let's make uh mazzy happy take it off me oh. wow you're quick long is that long all i get thanks babe Oh, your shoulder. <laughs> we'll open it, get your fish and what chips. What did you get? Got proper Irish curry, it's red apparently. Why did I get an option? That's weird, isn't it? Irish curry. It said normal curry or red curry. And then oh. in brackets it said Irish. I feel bad, me having fish and chip and you're having silly old pasta. Oh, it's not silly old pasta, it's nice pasta. Oh, that's a big meal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is that all you're getting out? Are you not getting everything out? Yeah, I'm trying to open it. Well, don't. Don't open that. Oh. You don't have to open that. That ain't important, is it? We know that ain't important. Oh, wow. Yeah. Small fish you asked for. Mm-hmm. It is small, but That's it looks massive. nice. That's massive. Come on, can you just empty the bag so I can put the camera down? Because so my what, arm's aching. What is Irish curry? Will you please? What have I got to do? Forget your food and finish opening your bag. And then I can put the camera down but because my arm's aching. What is that? I don't know, have a look. Oh. I thought I had to look at uh, the curry. Bath. Oh. I got you some bath bombs. Oh my god. Did you go in that shop? I went in a shop. I was think it? it was the wrong shop, but hey, they had bath bombs. Oh Give me a kiss. God. Oh my god, he's amazing. Tell everyone else I'm really amazing. He's amazing. Tell, no, really amazing. You're really amazing. Tell them I'm probably the most amazing. Vanilla sugar. He's really amazing, isn't he? Can I look at my curry? You can do whatever you want now. I'm going to turn this off. What's the difference between Irish curry and normal curry? It says it's red curry. Oh, it smells spicy. Let me just try it. Can I try it? Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's good. Let's just turn the oven off, the air fryer. Let's just share this, shall we? Let's just turn the camera off. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. And that's tea. So Dan's got his spaghetti business going on there. It's a few chips, curry sauce, half a fish. This is mine. And... He's still got the garlic bread going on, so I'm going to turn that off. You've actually got quite a big meal here, babe. Let's be honest, I haven't got any meal. Oh, 20 look, minutes. Look at y'all. Are you ready then? Ready to eat? I'm ready. I'll, ow. I'll have to be honest, I, I just did some What? Well, I don't know if I did it or not. What did you do? Well, I just found some and I don't know if it will me. What did you do? It looks like it comes off something. Oh, I told Charlie we were going to look after the house. What have you done? I, I literally just sat down and then I found this. So I don't know what I've done. But I can imagine I've done it. Gorilla tape. Yeah, gorilla tape. Yeah. yeah it's gorilla tape. <laughs> Edit that out and they'll never know. <laughs> yum yum. How are you all the way down there? What? I can't see you. Come how are you? How are you? Are you enjoying your meal? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's the next day. Uh, we're not happy with this vlog. We've just been watching it through. We're not happy with it at all. But hey, it is what it is. Um, so what happened last night? Mazzy was in agony. Complete agony. I've never seen her that bad. So it's just such a good job. We got her into a dentist today, which is in about two and a half hours. Um, and then all the pain will be over. She's all right. She's a bit better this morning, but she was really bad last night. Um, oh, let me just grab that. Yeah, we noticed 
on a lot of the clips yesterday, I don't know, the camera lens must have been a bit mucky and it looked a bit smeared. So I weren't happy with the quality. And then the lights flickering in the background because of the camera settings. Um, yeah, just not a very good vlog for us. Anyway, we have got some thanks to give. So massive thank you to the following people. Kevin Darlington. Martin King. Busy, 1956. Bobby Price, Rosie Posey, Paul Young, Caravanning and Cara the Van, and Sir Spuddy. Love that name. Thank you all so very, very much for your support. Right, yeah, just, I don't know, I'm a bit restless this morning. Had a shower. Um, Mazzy's just had a shower, getting ready now, ready for the dentist's. Oh, and before I forget, you know the microphone came yesterday, perfect, brand new, must be, um, got it all ready. Today, the actual housing unit for the GoPro is coming, and the special lead which you need. Uh, I only ordered it like three days ago, and it's come from America really fast. It's in Swansea at the moment, it's in Wales, so that will be coming today, fingers crossed. Let's hope it doesn't go missing because it's coming by UPS, and there. So the time is almost here, about half an hour until Maz is in the dentist, she's very nervous. Uh, we've just been sat in pretty much silence for the last hour or so. Um, she's getting through it, she's getting through it. So in that uh, hour, I thought I'd put myself to some kind of use. Have you noticed any kind of difference? I have been struggling and struggling and struggling with this GoPro setting. Everyone says put it into 50 hertz and it'll stop the flickering above. I'd put it on 50, but then every time I went back into it, it were always on 60. It's as if it wouldn't stay in 60. So I've done a full factory reset on the camera um, and I've changed everything and it looks like there is no more flickering. We've fixed the problem. We've fixed the problem. Right, we're taking Mazzy. Yay! <laughs> You're terrified, aren't you? I am, yeah. <clears throat> well, I would be. It's yeah. one of my worst fears, is dentists. But... In a kind of way, I'm looking forward to it, in the fact that I'm not going to be in pain. Last night, I really just wanted to rip my head off last yeah. night. I caught her at one point. Can you just hold that a second? Yeah. I caught her at one point going like that. <laughs> I was. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, a few hours time as it'll all be over. Yeah, thank God. Let's just do this. So there we have it. That's Mazzy at the dentist. Um, I'm just waiting for the call. I'm guessing she'll be an hour or so. Um, we don't know if she's having a filling. We don't know if she's having a tooth pulled. We don't know if they can do anything about a wisdom tooth problem on the other side, which isn't a major problem at the moment, but it does cause her a lot of trouble. We just have to wait and see. My guess is just a fill-in. But uh, poor, very quiet, scared, in pain Mazzy, I'm sure will be a completely different person when she comes back. But if you want to see Mazzy when she comes back, you're going to have to come back to the next vlog. Oh yes. I'm going to end this one here and continue it from when I go pick her up. So thank you for watching. I know it's not been brilliant, this one. Um, it's been about Mazzy being in pain, my camera problems, and uh, yeah, just getting on with the day. So we'll catch you all bright and early tomorrow. You all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Um, see you later. I need to do the slap thing, don't I? But I can't lift that arm up. See you later. Bye-bye.